Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and we're finally gonna talk about the Funko Fair happening on January 19th. That's right, you guys know me, I don't like to ramble at the start of the video, besides, you know, telling you to subscribe if you're new and smash the like on the video. Of course, I go, I always gotta say that. We're just gonna hop right into it. So, Funko is hosting a virtual event on the 19th of January, called the Funko Fair 2021, where they're going to be showing off new products for a lot of different franchises, and of course, I'm talking about it because they're gonna show off some new FNAF products. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, 100% honest with you guys, that's all we know. <laughs> Legit, that's all we know is that they're gonna be revealing some brand new FNAF products. That's it. We don't know, like, what characters we're gonna see, we don't know, like, what type of merch we're gonna see, pops, mystery minis, action figures, we have no clue. So, this video is gonna be a uh, kind of speculation about what I want to see, what I hope we see. Um, but to be fair, again, we shouldn't hype ourselves up too much because, I mean, we saw what happened with Security Breach not too long ago, so, again, let's try and lower our expectations because, you know, it is Funko after all. Then again, you know, they've actually been doing pretty well with uh, some of the new merchandise, right? The statues of Security Breach coming out in, um, in March, the same month as the new gameplay trailer, as well as some of the new plushies. I mean, I know some people didn't like the Phantom Bloom Boy plushie, but I don't mind it, and I think we can all agree the Frostbear merchandise and the Security Puppet plushie, top notch. So hopefully, all this new merchandise is on that same level. So I have a little excerpt here from a article that I'm gonna share. Two week virtual event introduces new products for 2021 across vinyl, soda, Funko games, Paka Paka, and Loungefly. I've never heard of those last two. Funko Incorporated, Funko, or the company, Funko, a leading pop culture consumer products company is kicking off 2021 with its first ever Funko Fair, a two week long virtual affair that will introduce fans and partners to new products expected to hit retail later this year. So that's something to uh, to keep in mind is that it's not going to release right the second we see it. It, it's gonna take a bit, but they all are expected to be released in this year, so keep that in mind. So this is a quote from the Chief Executive Officer at Funko. He says, Funko is always discovering new ways to surprise and delight our fans by bringing the best of pop culture directly to them. Funko Fair is all about virtually showcasing the newest products that our incredible creative team has been working on for the past several months. This is a terrific opportunity to usher in 2021 with a fresh slate of consumer products that celebrate imagination and pop culture. The following licensors have confirmed their participation in Funko Fair. Warner Brothers, including DC, The Pokemon Company, International, NBC Universal, Five Nights at Freddy's, and many more. Additionally, there will be days designated for Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars branded products by Funko. Loungefly will also showcase their latest accessories. The fair kicks off the morning of January 19th with a new episode of Fun TV. I legit no clue what that is. A monthly short form production co-hosted by Brian Moriarty and Mike Becker. Sorry if I butchered those names. For the full plan for Funko Fair, fans can follow along by tuning into Funko's social media uh, channels at Original Funko. So that's it. Again, that's all we know is that um, from January 19th for two weeks running from, again, January 19th to the 29th, we're getting new products about FNAF. When we're gonna get them during those two weeks, I have no clue. Hopefully they release like a schedule. That'd be very helpful. I, I like I don't know how many we're gonna get. I don't know what products we're gonna get. I don't know what characters we're gonna see. Legit, when I say that's all we know, I mean it. That's all we know. So I'm gonna spitball here and talk about what I hope we see. I think everyone can agree that the statues are some of Funko's best works yet, right? They just look absolutely fantastic. So I hope we see some more. Maybe Security Breach. Maybe not. It would be cool if they went back to some of the older games and, you know, took inspiration from them. Maybe like a Springlock failure, the Bite of 83, maybe even the Bite of 87, I, though I, I highly doubt it. The the one statue I really want, and I swear to goodness gracious, mama mia, if they don't make it, I'm gonna be so mad. Mr. Hippo and Orville sitting in a pork on a bench feeding the birds. Sourdough bread. I mean, come on, tell me you don't want to see that. But in all seriousness, I do hope we get some more statues. Even though they're like 50 bucks, they look incredible. There's been a lot of hype recently about the new Withered wave, which apparently has been confirmed, but I, I honestly have no clue. I believe that comes from like Puppet Steve or someone, so I'll take his word for it. I think showing it off at the Funko Fair would be pretty awesome, not gonna lie, if they are making Withered merchandise right now. Plushies, action figures, maybe even pops, though I've, I've heard 
that they stopped doing FNAF pops. I don't know if that's true. I don't know why. I, I do really like them though, so I, I hope they do some more for Security Breach. FNAF Help Wanted characters, FNAF Special Delivery characters, I mean, they've kind of skipped out on Help Wanted entirely. No Glitch Trap merchandise, no Dreadbear, no Grim Foxy, like come on Funko, we're all waiting. And we do already know that more Special Delivery merchandise by Funko is being worked on right now. Mainly some action figures based upon uh, Chocolate Bonnie, Chocolate Freddy, and Chocolate Chica which those last two aren't actual skins as of right now. Who knows, maybe this year we will see them. But yeah, we know 100% that those are being worked on. I mean, really, I'm, I'm just excited for anything. Like I said, statues, I really want to see some more of those. More action figures, plushies, pops, mystery minis. You know, we have a lot of characters that need merchandise. Though, to be fair, I think the one group of characters people are really waiting for uh, would be the Withered characters from FNAF 2. So I really hope we see some of them because, oh my god. We've been waiting so long, and I think now would be a phenomenal time. Then again, we shouldn't get ourselves hyped up too much, because if it turns out to be bad, we have ourselves to blame. I mean, take a look at what happened a couple days ago, again, with the Security Breach tech demo that we all thought was going to be the official trailer 2, but then it was just kind of, you know, the trailer 1, but with more locations. So let's not get ourselves too hyped up. Because if they release some more recolors, oh boy, we're going to be upset. But I do hope we get some good things. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Funko has been incredible recently, in my personal opinion. Again, I know some people didn't like the Phantom Balloon Boy plushie. I know people have some problems with the statues, but really, I think they're killing it right now. When Scott said things will be changing, he meant it, and in a great way. So again, I hope we see some amazing new products by Funko uh, sometime in that two-week period. Again, I have no clue what day is going to be the FNAF day. I really hope they release a schedule soon, because it does happen in like five, for some people, four days. But since Funko is this huge brand who, like, like you saw, you know, they have Warner Bros, DC, Marvel, Disney, I'm sure they're going to pump out all that content first. So I'm, I'm guessing FNAF will be kind of later on in the event, because, you know, when you compare FNAF to Marvel, I think there's a little bit of a difference, so. But then again, that's not confirmed. I'm just, you know, spitting straight facts, even though they're not facts, so. I'm talking. And speaking of talking, I'm done. Thanks for watching. I know this video took a little bit of time to get out, but I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on the Funko Fair. Again, let's not get ourselves too hyped up, but, you know, Hopefully we see some good things. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Core Collection is coming hopefully tomorrow.